Christine, it seems like uh, every striking writer from Los Angeles to Hollywood was out on the picket lines today at the request of the negotiating committee as a demonstration of the urgency of getting a new deal done. But so far, that has not happened. That's what we need to do. We need to have a chess tournament. I gotta take a rook. I'm sorry. I'm a compassionate chess player. I've made all the moves. <laughs> Chess moves on the writer's picket line in another strong show of solidarity outside Netflix studios on Sunset Boulevard. No doubt chess moves at the negotiating table inside the Sherman Oaks Galleria office building on Ventura Boulevard between writers and the Alliance of Motion Picture and TV Producers. What do you think it's going to take to make a deal? It's going to take the AMPTP having respect and seeing the needs of the writers and seeing that they're taking advantage of the billions of dollars we make for their studios. Keep the line moving. Yes, while the two sides talk about billions, striking writers like Danny Tolley talk about surviving. He signed up to drive for Lyft and just applied to be a substitute teacher. We're all desperate to get back to work. It feels like the studios are just trying to bleed the economy of this city. Uh, I'm hoping that they finally presented something that is worthy of negotiating. Yeah. The two sides have kept a tight lid on these new negotiations. We know writers are talking with the so-called big four of the Producers Alliance. Netflix, Warner Discovery, NBC Universal, and Disney. But any new proposals have not been released. Writer Travis Wright said what many here are thinking. My fear is that they're just posturing um, and that they're going to offer us a few things and then try to make us the bad guys. But key issues haven't really changed. Staffing levels, compensation, especially residuals for streaming services, and limits on artificial intelligence. This has been going on for a very long time. Uh, the people I know who are on the lines uh, have not lost an ounce of respect or desire to ensure that we meet the goals that were laid out to us from the very beginning. Um, and at this point, we are perfectly fine waiting for you to come to your senses and to give us the things we're asking for. The solidarity of the uh, strikers has never been an issue. Remember, the strike with author was authorized by nearly 100% of its members. Uh, my understanding is last night they went till 6 o'clock. It's not clear how late they'll go tonight. With Monday being the Jewish holiday, it's a three-day weekend. It's unlikely negotiations will continue over the weekend if things aren't wrapped up. Reporting live in Sherman Oaks, I'm Phil Schumann, Fox 11 News.